Oh, good morning, Gatsby. Have you guys heard of corn chip feet? Have you heard of it, Gatsby? If you have a corgi, try smelling his feet. They smell like Fritos. Ah, oh, smells so good, Gatsby. Mmm. Last night we got something really special and I thought that I would share with you in this clip before we start the vlog, so check it out. Gatsby just got his Christmas present in the mail today. Can you read? You're so lucky. Hey, here it is, the iFetch 2. It comes with a rechargeable battery, so you can take it outside. It can shoot out like up to 40 feet. And it also has a random setting, so it can randomly shoot at different speeds too. Oh, look at these. Full-size balls, yeah. Oh my gosh, look how big this is. Apparently there is almost no latency also, so when you stick the ball in, it shoots out almost immediately. Wow, look at that. Oh, <laughs> wow, that thing is huge. Look at it, it's like as big as Gatsby. <sighs> Stay tuned for a giveaway too. And let's see what Gatsby's reaction is to this. Oh, wow, it does shoot out almost immediately. We have to teach him how to use this again. That's pretty cool, huh? Let's try a second setting. Here it goes. Woo! And I don't even want to try high indoors. <laughs> I'm trying to retrain Gatsby with the clicker with this. Here it goes, ready? Put it back. So first I'm going to train him to put it in my hand, and then I'll move my hand into the, the bowl here. That's how I did last time. Put it inside. Good. Ah. Good dog. You're doing really well. Good dog, Gatsby. Good dog. We're all out of treats. At least Gatsby's having a good time. Come on, put inside. Oh, almost. Put inside. Come over here, put inside. Good dog. It still takes a lot of teaching. Gatsby's learning so fast though. Put inside. Good dog. Hey, put inside. No. Put inside. Come. Put inside. Still having the spatial perception problem with this new one. Put inside. There you go. Put inside. Good dog. He's getting the hang of it now. Hard days of work, huh? Put inside. No. Put inside. No. Come on. Put inside. Good dog. So that's the iFetch right now. He still needs to work on it a little bit, but he is doing really good. He understood the concept, but I think that it's just a little bit harder for him due to the height. Go inside. Good dog. I was looking at my rose bubble tip anemone, I was like, wait a minute, did it split? And look, I think it split into two. That's how they multiply, is they split like that. The clownfish is keeping it healthy. Crazy. So I've been working super hard this past week on three videos. My computer decided to delete all of them and then overwrite all of the save files with blank files. Then it deleted all the backups, which I was like, wait, what? These videos were actually supposed to come out last week, but I had to redo the entire thing. I spent the entire weekend. Yesterday I spent 16 hours editing. I actually just posted a new vlog called 100 of the Happiest Moments in Gatsby's Life. That one can be found on Gatsby's channel, Great Gatsby Corgi. I also have a new video that's coming up with this vlog called Gatsby's Favorite Things, a list of all Gatsby's favorite products. And the third video is, of course, this vlog here. So I've been working super hard. With that being said, I thought that I would give you guys a sneak peek. Because it's Christmas time and a lot of you guys have been asking, what brands are those things? I thought that I would make a list of Gatsby's favorite products. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for a lot of these products for the first time. Thank you. So let's get started. Yeah, Gatsby, you ready? Next on the list, we have the Halo Belt or Halo Mini. These are LED dog colors. They come in three different colors and we love these a lot. This is made from my really good friend Vince who's always in my video. It is considered the best and the brightest illuminated dog collar on the market. Let's play a video clip of all Gatsby's friends enjoying the Halo Belt dog collars at night. We're 
going to do a giveaway. We're going to give your fans some dog collars. So we will be giving away five Halo Belt dog collars. So if you already bought one, you can order another color if you win. More colors? I will put a link in the description below, and all you need to do is fill out the form, your name, and some way I can contact you if you win. I will choose five people on January 15th who will win free Halo Belts. They chose us to do a giveaway for an original iFetch and the latest iFetch 2. Isn't that going to be so exciting? I'm going to have two extra contest forms to submit your name into the raffle for one of these two products, which the winners will all also be announced January 15th. I will be hiding an annotation in the Puppyhood video on Gatsby's channel, Great Gatsby Corky, as well as the latest Puppies Happiest Moments video which I just posted on this channel. What would really help me out is if you go onto YouTube, search for the word puppy, find my video, click on it, and watch it all the way through and try to find the annotation. Make sure that you are on a desktop or a laptop as annotations don't appear on mobile devices. When you find the annotation, click on it and you'll be taken to a hidden video which will explain all the rules and details on how to submit your name for one of these iFetches, which I'm giving away for free! If you would like to get the original iFetch, the annotation will be hidden in the Gatsby's Happiest Moments video. If you'd like to win the iFetch 2, the annotation will be hidden somewhere in the Puppyhood video. So awesome, we have three contests going on at the same time. You can apply for all three contests, or you can just do one if you want. A lot more of the details will be explained inside of Gatsby's video, Gatsby's Favorite Things. Okay, I'm getting ready to head off to the gym. My gym outfit for today, gym aesthetics. I'll see you guys there. In the nick of time, I can say a slicker line because it's time for chains like a nickel or dime. I'm Roman, I'm a barbarian, I'm Conan. You were sleeping on me, you were dozing. Now move, I'm Conan. I'm here with my neighbor, Sean and Nick, and we're we're tracking my subscribers. Look, almost at 60,000. Oh. So I'm gonna help them film a video. <laughs> we're gonna go shopping for some ingredients and stuff, and then you can see it on their channel, Sean's Secrets. We're at Lion. I choose some weird Asian foods for them to try out. This is my favorite store. <laughs> <laughs> smells like raw fish. <laughs> oh look, they have durian. Nope, what is nope. this? We're, we're gonna pass on those. Oh. You have shrimp chips before, right? I like this a lot, but it looks like dog poop. <laughs> have you had these before? These are good. What are those? They're like milky, like it tastes really good. It like melts in your mouth. All right, let's get the let's get the get Hello, the cheapest one. Get the Hello Kitty one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it says Kawaii on it. What? Kawaii? Oh. <laughs> Kawaii? <laughs> oh no. Look at this. This has like this girl that looks like she's ready to fight. Oh, this is the one. This is the one that I would eat as a kid. I don't think you're gonna like it, but it tastes good to me. It's like dried fruit. The shredded squid ones. You want to try it? You eat it, and then when you go to sleep, your breath smells super bad. So everyone who you sleep around has to eat it too. It's kind of weird because I'm like, this is so normal to me, and you guys are like, oh my god, is that squid? Guys <laughs> are making such a big scene. <laughs> such white people. I've never seen this before. This is this is just like they dried them up. Oh, cuttlefish. It's good. They're walking around with like stars in their eyes. Like, what is this stuff? Look at this one. Doesn't it make it more appealing? Cause there's this guy on it. <laughs> Look what they have. Donald Duck juice. They're like freaking out because of quail eggs. Yeah, you cook them. Oh my gosh. Oh, almost, almost made it. Look, Sai is on the drink here. Oh yeah, I need to get that. See, I need to be one of these models for one of these drinks here. I'll do it for like these rice dumplings. Okay, so we chose everything for the snacks. I gave them pretty easy ones to eat. Oh, nice. I'm two away from 60K. It could happen any moment. Almost there. Ah, 60,000. Congrats, right? Yay, thank you. Watch, it just drops all the way down. <laughs> we just finished filming the video for Sean's channel, and let's just say they didn't really like all these Asian snacks. <laughs> so I get to keep them, which is a bonus. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks so much for 60,000 subscribers, it's so crazy. Good times. We're headed to the dog park. Gotta yeah, stop to pee. Hey, Arnie. Woo. <sighs> Got the ball. Did you have a good time? 
Yeah. For dinner today, I thought that I would make another recipe that was featured on BuzzFeed, which is the perfect chicken. Let's see how good this ends up tasting. One pound of chicken breasts, which I have right here. We got onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, pepper, salt, and olive oil, and that's it. Let's get started. First off, we preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, I'm just gonna eyeball it, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, like so, and then we mix with our hands. Mmm. An oven safe pan. We're gonna set it to medium high over here. I looked online to check to see if mine is oven safe. It also says on the bottom of the pan over here two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. We're gonna cook them three to four minutes per side. We're gonna stick this open like this in the oven. Set a timer for 25 minutes. There we go. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. And we let it rest for five to 10 minutes. While I waited, I just made a super simple green salad with tomatoes, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil. I think the chicken should be ready. I think next time when I make it, I will reduce the heat a little bit. I believe it was a little too hot. Let's get some rice out. Ah, oh, nice. And so there we go, there's our meal. Okay, this chicken looks really dry. Let's try it out. It's a little dry, but it tastes incredible. Personally, I would reduce the heat to medium instead of medium high, and then in the oven, I would probably cook it for a little bit less time, maybe 23, but it still tastes really good. Before I go to bed, I thought that I would walk around with Gatsby and enjoy the Christmas lights and let you guys enjoy it too from Gatsby's point of view. Let's get going, Gatsby. to finally have everything posted. I have not slept or done anything for a week other than just edit, edit, edit. But I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Please enjoy the other two videos that I have posted on Great Gatsby Corgi by searching for the word puppy. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! And for winter dessert, we are going to make a three ingredient pear galette. The three ingredients are pears, maple syrup, and pie crust. It seems very, very easy. Baking sheet and some parchment paper, which we have over here. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Next, let's wash 